It's the Maria Bamford Show! My parents kicked me out of the house, so I moved in with my sister. But then my sister got mad at me because I ruined her glue gun by accident. So now I'm back living with my parents on the condition that my mom can dress my dog Blossom in whatever costume she desires. It's the Maria Bamford Show. Hey! So I've been thinking about what to do next with my life, and so I call my friend Linda in Los Angeles. Maria, you already do so much. You make people laugh. That's the greatest gift in the world. I want to go help people somewhere that, where they're suffering, you know? I don't know, go sell my CDs or something. Why don't you just buy a pair of fair trade shoes made of recycled materials and do your part? I already have 18 pairs of shoes. Don't you think conscious neglect is the equivalent of perpetration? Okay, sounds like somebody needs to treat themselves to a red wine colonic. So I'm still working at the temp agency, but I'm looking for ways to make it more meaningful. Amy, I know you wanted me to enter the entire Duluth, Minnesota phone book into a Microsoft Outlook, which is a great idea. Uh-huh. I was thinking, we don't even have to do that. What? Because we already have all the names, addresses, and phone numbers of everybody in Duluth, Minnesota on file. Uh-huh. In the phone book. Uh-huh. We don't need to have a a copy of it that would be redundant, you know, because we're the it's a story. The phone book is a file. The phone book won't fit in the file cabinet. So I'm still feeling depressed, despite being heavily medicated. So my mom bought me a special lamp. Okay, honey, I'm just gonna put turn the lamp on you. Now this is for seasonal affective disorder, okay? And what it is, it creates the effect of daytime sun rays. It's kind of bright. It's good, it's good, it's good. So you just sit here and relax and let the light hit you and I will chat with you. Thanks, Mom. So, sweetie, what is it you're anxious about? Oh. Are you worried about the state of the world? And how hundreds of thousands of innocent people die at the hands of their own government and ours? No. Sweetie, is it that you're worried about your father and I and us getting older? Because we are falling apart, you know? I could go at any second, you know? There is a history of stroke in my family, you know? Oh, you know, suddenly I can't speak, you know, except out the side of my mouth and then I'm drooling and you know, and then I'm missing the part of my brain that exudes kindness, and so suddenly I'm just yelling stuff at you at the side of my mouth, like, I hate you, little bitch! No! It isn't about that. You know, I think the real reason you're down is because you're 36. Everything you've ever achieved is really in the past now. Probably never really reach those heights again. I don't want to talk about it. You look... 36 and you know that's that's hard and you're on the scrap heap really what in terms of your career you know everyone looks at you and says oh that lady again you know oh high voice oh low voice you know we get it shut up mom honey should i turn the lamp up sure